Hello, my name is Bruce, and my calling is to create marvelous things. You know, it's a toy design studio, what do you expect? You know, we're inventors, and we try to create marvelous and wonderful things, and we're big fans of marvelous and wonderful things, like, uh, I mean, you take a look at this. This looks like it was crafted by a jeweler, perhaps, but that is a naturally occurring uh, fool's gold um, crystal. It's just like, that's unbelievable that that can be found in the dirt someplace. Everything in nature is perfectly designed, absolutely perfectly. A perfection, to define perfection, you couldn't add something to make it better, and you couldn't take away something to make it better. The frisbee is perfection. The yo-yo is perfection. The top is perfection. Um, there are a lot of things that are just, they're just perfect. They couldn't be made any better. Thank you, Jess. High security. But we'll let you in. You just can't show anybody or tell anybody about anything you've seen as a top secret. Okay? I think toys are the most important kind of product in the world because toys inspire children to make choices as adults. And as adults, they change the world. Frank Lloyd Wright uh, played with a set of wooden blocks when he was a kid. And he claims that those wooden blocks are why he became an architect. The Wright brothers, <clears throat> who pioneered powered flight, uh, credit a toy airplane that their father gave them for their birthday as the reason they became interested in flight. And in here they're making marvelous new toys. Leading a team that is able to create new technologies and make things do that no one would think possible is uh, one of the things I love doing most. Uh, my, my privilege really is to do the very best that I can do with the gifts that I've been given because that's what one should do. Why would you not do the best that you can do with the gifts you've been given? Why, why aspire to less than that? And your ears will surely show it if you're happy and you know it. Slap your ears. My ears are just getting warmed up. What a lugubrious character he is, isn't he? Hi, buddy boy. How you doing? Yeah, let me clap my ears for you. We have these really tough problems, tough mechanical problems to solve. How to get this to do that? Not often, but you know, on occasion we'll have a problem that even I think is impossible, can't be done. Uh, sometimes it'll come from a client or sometimes we'll pose it ourselves. Uh, but it's enormously satisfying to kind of put that whole idea aside that it can't be done and then work on it as if it were possible. And in numerous occasions we find out it's, it is possible, it can be done. Our TMX Elmo, which is Toy of the Year, people describe it as a mechanical marvel, a mechanical miracle. Nobody else, nobody knows how it works exactly. Even today, when I look at the prototype and I look at what it does, it's just like, how does it do all of those things? There's nothing in there. There's a couple little motors and nothing else, and it does all that stuff. How is it possible? I had a, a couple people that related stories. One was a teacher and she had a, I think an autistic child that had not, in three years, had never laughed. She never heard her laugh and she played with TMX Elmo and she heard the child laugh for the first time. Laughter is healing. Laughter is, is a, you know, has a tremendous restorative quality. And to have been involved in creation of a product that brought that much laughter and, and made that many people feel so good, uh, that's some satisfaction. Definitely.